Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to talk about using local notifications in Flutter. When I had this requirement, I thought like this would come out of the box in Flutter uh, as this was a common feature, uh, but looks like it doesn't. So I had to look for a plugin and I found this plugin flood, flutter underscore local underscore notification uh, which is uh, really good uh, it almost covers a lot of features uh, required with respect to uh, local notifications i'm not going to talk all of, talk about all of them but i'm going to talk about how you can configure this uh, plugin and use some basic uh, notifications okay so as always let's uh, jump into some code I have already done the uh, app so I will walk you through the uh, most important pieces of the uh, code so before we look into the code let's see how the app works it's uh, pretty simple so let's uh, check in the Android simulator how it looks here is our app so it's just the basic uh, demo application i just modified the button to show a notification or a ring symbol so let's see what happens when you tap on the button so you can see a notification came up this is the local notification so i'm going to show how that works through code step one we start with pub spec yaml so add the flutter local notifications here do pub get so that the plugin is installed i will come to this plugin a bit later step two initialize the plugin with the required inputs so the if you see the documentation they have clear steps in doing the setup you can see android setup then ios setup how to do that and a sample over here so usually most people do is like they put this code in the main uh, file in the start of the application so here i just created a in order to keep it separate i just created a notifications manager uh, class so what notification manager does is it encapsulates or it abstracts all the uh, complexities of the plugin so that in future if we need a different uh, plugin or something we can easily manage with the notifications manager notification manager is a uh, singleton class so in that i have uh, in instantiated the flutter local notification plugin so we have a local uh, private variable uh, flutter local notifications plugin uh, created in the notifications manager so at any point of time if you by accessing notifications manager you have access to uh, the flutter notification plugin through uh, functions so here uh, i have the shared instance of notification manager and a list of test messages i will come to this a bit later so this is the first setup that you need to do like i written a function called initialize notifications so here you set up the android settings you give uh, an icon name so you have to put the icon in the android app main res drawable so don't specify any path names like at drawable or at mipmap just give the name make sure the uh, file exists in the drawable folder this will be the icon and for uh, ios initialization settings uh, use the default values and using both ios and android uh, initialization settings you create an uh, initialization settings object and then you create the instance of uh, local notification plugin and use the initialize uh, function and pass in the initialization settings so here what i'm doing is once the initialization is successful i just 
set a schedule a notification so what it does is uh, it just schedules a notification at 10 a.m in the morning so this is how you do that you have samples available in the plugins example so i just use the use the same function here and you can provide a an id for the notification so that in future like if you want to cancel that you can use this id to cancel it then i have another function for general notification by i have i have written accessor functions so when which like at any point of time if you want an instance of notification plugin you can uh, get that through this uh, function and there is another function return cancel notification with id so if you pass in the id you can cancel the notification if it exists then schedule notification which internally calls show a uh, show a notification daily at a time then show notification which calls the normal uh, show just showing the uh, notification and coming back to the uh, permissions by default when you make the in initialization call here for ios the pop-ups or required the permission will be automatically popped up and you can either uh, give permission or don't give permission uh, so that is being handled here you can even use uh, request permission also all those details are present in the documentation so i'm you can read through that but this is for this video it's not uh, that relevant so i you just use the default settings and default settings will pop up the uh, notification request permission by default yeah then coming to the other plugin which i showed before uh, which is the notification permissions uh, this is basically used to detect whether a permission was given or not uh, which was really handy so how do we use that you just add the uh, permission uh, plugin in the pub spec and then use the notification permissions request notification permission for requesting if needed this this pl plugin also has the capability and this function get check notification permission status so in the notification permissions plugin has a uh, method called get notification permission status which will give whether the status is granted denied or unknown so by using this you can check whether the permission was already given or not and if not you can uh, probably uh, guide the user to the steps or show the user the steps to activate it manually so that's why i use this uh, plugin cool so that's that's just the setup so you initialize the flutter uh, notification plugin by passing in android and ios uh, setting make sure for android you give the icon a uh, name once the notification is initialized you will have uh, access to the notification plugin through the uh, this notifications manager and i have written accessor or uh, convenience functions to make different operations like show a notification request permission cancel notification etc and in the main uh, function in the initialization uh, state i just create an instance of notification manager and in the init state i uh, call the initialize notification so when the app boots up you will get uh, the pop-up uh, to allow notifications and the notification will be initialized and through this notifications manager it will be accessible in any screens that you want and when you tap the bell button i just call the show notification function which internally calls the show notifications which i have written in the notifications manager now coming back to some platform specific uh, settings so for ios you have to go to the runner project and in the app delegate and add this code uh, for ios setup and for android there are a bunch of uh, steps available so let's check 
what needs to be done first go to android app then main manifest so in the manifest you need to add the so if you want to schedule you need to add uh, receive boot completed permission then uh, next thing is the receiver code all these things are present in the documentation so you need to add uh, the this specifically if you want to have schedule uh, notifications uh, that's that's it in the android manifest the other next critical thing that if you use a shrink source or minify uh, the build then you will get some error uh, where uh, for example i used to get this this error like java lang no such field exception drawable this is basically because of uh, when you shrink uh, the binary uh, we we uh, we couldn't find the uh, the drawable resource so in order to fix this what we need to do is we need to create a pro guard rules uh, file so this by default doesn't get created so you you probably manually need to create it so in this case i just copied from the example uh, example code available as as part of the plugin and you just need to add it and this is one critical line so you need to add uh, this rule to make things work then you need to in the rest folder you need to add this raw folder and keep xml so that and the uh, files in the drawable folder are not uh, shrinked or removed then in the build.gradle file in usually uh, like you don't get this error well in debug mode but uh, if you are using any big binary a big plugins like cloud firestore or something you have to add minify enabled in debug also so in that case you will get this error in debug so add this code for both release and debug like the minify enable string resources and the pro guard uh, settings for both debug and release so this this is very critical to prevent errors of build errors when you use the plugin and make sure you add the raw keep xml so that the icons are not missing cool and that's all cool i will put the uh, link to the source code in the description so you can take it and try it out thank you